Oh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome back to Arsenic Candy Gaming. And welcome back to the Caves of Kud. I don't have the slightest idea where we are. We are at Joppa. We've just returned from our previous quest, which um, was the Shagamu Depths, maybe? Or we were trying to discover cures, one or the other. It's going to be one of those things. Um... In the long run, I don't suppose it really matters, does it? We have to find... Um, a cure. We have to find a cure. We are riddled. We are a fickle gill nightmare at the moment. And we are rapidly running out of places that could become infected. I mean, we have no head, no body, no face no right hand no left arm no left hand we are a mess we're an absolute mess at the moment and we've got a great reputation with fungi we have a really bad reputation with a consortium of fighter um but i guess that our, our hands are cudgels so maybe we could just spec into cudgel for a bit days is on critical hit maybe it's not it's not ideal but it, it's gonna end up going that way um I think we also might end up having to lose our um, companion because the Warden's Esther is absolutely riddled with fickle gill as well. I mean, what... What else can we do, really? I mean, we could make the Warden's Esther stay away from us once we find a cure, but, I mean, that's, that's largely irrelevant at the moment. Um, we have to find something to do. Uh, there's many things on the map. None of them are particularly um, inviting, I guess. We have to find a way to... The Lair of Dihasis Makadon, the legendary giant dra uh, dragonfly. Let's just go there. Let's just go to the Lair of Dihasis Makadon and uh, see what we can achieve here because... I mean, even at this point, I think death would be a, a blessed release from the hell of being a human mushroom. The plants, the plants don't care enough to hurt us anymore. They just don't care. It might be time to... Oh, we ha we've got no hands with which to put a... Um, a glow sphere. Actually, let's, let's chip back over here and see if we can purchase a floating glow sphere. We might might be able to find one because at the moment we, we we are in complete darkness there's wine that's no good to us we are yeah we're rapidly running out of limbs we're running out of anything of of any use a turbo would be great repram reprogrammable recoiler great I'm, I'm genuinely tempted to to get an axe and start hacking off my own body parts but at this and we haven't even got a hand to put an axe in so um unless we go and find some uh what are they called mad poles that can start hacking limbs off of us but even then we'd need an, a significant amount of urbanostrum injectors and it just ain't on the cards Right, we're just going to have to go until we can't go anymore. Can we swap items out? I want... I desperately, desperately, desperately wish to have your floating glow sphere. Hmm, there is a Dromad Merchant over here. Maybe the Dromad Merchant will be able to get us one. Um, because we, we're going to need a, glow, a floating glow sphere in order to proceed. Or a, um... The Dragonfly dude. There we go. That's our right arm gone. Running out of limbs. I'm sure that there was a Dromad caravan here. There is. Where's it? Hello. You're right. Have you got a uh, floating glow sphere? Don't piss me about, mate. I'm not into it. I'm not into your games. Your silly, silly games. Mm, we can't, it's not like we can even uh, grow additional limbs with which to hold. Oh, we definitely don't want to be lost in the desert. 
we might we might have to go with the option of trying to find some um acid to bathe in and uh try and burn off the fungal infection nothing else is really going to cut it okay we we'll, we'll 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 consider every potential we'll consider every potential i mean if we die we die we just risk it in the dark let's let's take let's take it let's take it let's go well you know this has been a great start to an adventure hasn't it um losing the last of our serviceable limbs I mean, uh, there's not even, like, unless we have <laughs> enough urban ostrum to grow back every limb that we currently have, um, we're making a choice between being, um, I forgot we have no weapons outside of our laser pistols. I don't need any of that. I haven't got a face, I haven't got a body. I'm just a giant mushroom at this point. I'm just a giant gill with my gill friend. A gill friend. Um. But hey, yo, that's, that's, you know, that's the, the straw we drew this time around. I thought the gunslinger, you know, as, as bad as I thought it was going to be at times, this, this was beyond my, uh, My conception this is beyond my imagination oh fuck off excuse me i'm sure that this series is doomed to uh being disappeared entirely on youtube purely down to the uh the the quantity of advanced swearing that we've done throughout the run are you not friendly with us mr robot yeah it's, i can't be asked i can't even be asked to blow you up with my lasers So I think we, yeah, we just have to resign ourselves to the fact that we are a walking mushroom. And, um, you know, we, we're not going to... Look, mate, I've had enough. If we got any points to spend on skills, no, not yet. We will, though. We will. Give me a giant dragonfly to kill and, uh, and I'll be a satisfied gunslinger. Oh, it's blocked by some rubble. Is there an alternate route? Better hope so, haven't we? There was. Go on, Esters. You can do it. I mean, what is a what is a man to do at this point? Come on, Esters. Get in there. You can do better than that. I'm the smartest mushroom that ever lived. The smartest. I should just start fires and then we'll be able to see. And we won't even need a floating glow sphere. The other choice, of course, is to just kill the warden Esters, which doesn't seem like a great idea. What have I picked up? Let's break down some of our stuff. So we made an experiment on the uh, YouTube channel. We tried out playing a different game and seeing, uh, you know, how would that would go? It was more just I wanted to play something different. I wanted to play something completely different that I enjoy playing. Let's see how it goes down. Uh, the experiment was a failure, and uh, nobody's really watched the other video, which was Grifflands, by the way. Um, but I have not been disheartened by it. I've enjoyed making a different video. It's not going to affect the Caves of Kud uploads in any way whatsoever. We will still continue to uh, upload Caves of Kud videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Um, but I'm going to upload some other videos in between. Um, I've seen a, uh, a fellow Kud tuber. Um, Big Simple? Big Simple? Is that the one I'm thinking of? Yeah, 
Big Sipple's been playing a lot of Dungeon Mans, which is great to see. It's one of my favourite um, roguelikes out there. Uh, not something that I think that I would enjoy spending too much time on for YouTube videos, but definitely a game that I enjoy playing. Um, but you know, there's obviously room out there for you, for us Caves of Kud tubers to uh, to branch out, play something different. So um, I've got some ideas, I've got some stuff I want to play, and uh, I'm going to do it. I think what really works out for us best is um bear with me while i figure out how to think and talk at the same time open world rpg adventure stuff might work out for us um a bit of, where we have a bit of agency come on come with me i need to be able to see where i'm going oh the locate the we note lo the location of shapa shelter Excellent. Um, yeah, so we're going to play some some RPGs. I think we're probably going to start with Outward. Um, there is a, a new DLC coming out soon, so we're going to actually play some um, Outward for a bit because I haven't played much of it, but I'm looking forward to that. Oh my goodness, we're getting ourselves in a bit of a pickle here, aren't we? Boys, I don't want to play this game. Let's, let's all be friends or you guys get out of my way. It would be nice if I had some way of an illuminating the world around me. Who's shooting at me? Okay, come on then, Argives. Not Argives. <laughs> Esther's. We'll go down here. Go down here, Warden Zesters. Hmm. Our adventure is leading us in a very strange direction. We are de destined to become the king of the mushroom people. Um, yeah, which probably ain't going to be all that bad. It definitely sounds um, like it could be a lot of fun. Need those. Need might be a very um, inappropriate word for what I require there, but why have we not picked up that grenade? Okay, thank you very much. Will this lead us anywhere? It will not. You doing all right there, Warden Zester? Yeah, she's just bloody. Bloody, bloody, bloody. Uh, we've still got itchy skin, so that means that we're almost certainly going to lose our backpack pretty soon. Um... There's not really anything else we could lose, so backpack's going to be gone soon. Um, and then we're in a bad fucking way. Because we've got no way of carrying any loot then. So we'll be relying on the wardens to carry all of the gear that we require. It's not the, uh, the, the state that I wish to be in, but, you know, we play the cards that you're dealt in could. Sometimes it's a real crappy hand. Hello, are you, are you, are you, yes, you are. If we could not fall out, I would appreciate it. Who are you friends with, first off? So, you're hated by Vines for impersonating one of their leaders. You're admired by the f Consortium of Fighter. And you're hated by Hermits for releasing snakes into one of their camps. If we could be friends... Our reputation with hermits has decreased. Our reputation with the consortium of fighter has increased. That's all right. We're disliked by vines, but there you go. I would ask for you to join me. I might do. Let's see what else you got going on there. You got nothing going on. Um, yeah, just join me. Okay. We've got another another friend here who's also going to be a mushroomy mess in no in no time at all. Um, you know that's 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 what you get when you uh you join the quest. Okay, we need you covered in spores. 
that's not going to be great for you, is it? But what I'm going to can I give you a, a glow sphere and then you can illuminate the world around me as well? I hope so. Here, take one of these glow spheres. I need a glowing friend to assist me in my journey. Um, as many things I need. That's that's one of the minor ones. Um, go on. Just a whole bunch of the co the appropriate corpses for us to make potions that we require. It's not even for the potions, is it? It's for us to consume prior to having the potions. Do you know what? If I, if I make the potions and drink them without eating the corpse and it works, I'm going to be f***ing livid. Come on, boys. Where are you? Join me down here. You. I want you to move down here. Why won't you follow me? Why won't you follow me? You're not going to follow me for some reason, are you? Not, oh, nothing down here. Nope. Okay. That didn't really work out. Let's just have a wander around in the dark. Okay, yeah, the, the way is blocked by tan tangled mud root. Um, that's fine. Get me out of here. Hmm, nothing to be found. Nothing at all. Which is a... Damn shame. Slimy wet ashes. Cool. What's in this vase of some cider? Absolutely no use to us whatsoever. So that's great. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. This has been a uh, a, a wasted journey in in into the depths of. Uh, the lair of Diahasis Macadon. But we have got a new friend out of it, I guess, so can't can't all be too bad. It's not what we wanted from the experience, but you know. There's been experiences that had worse outcomes. What is these? We will go up, yes. We will go up the stairs and we will get out of here. I mean, will this lead us right back down where we came from? Yeah, it will. Just take me to the stairwell. He's taking one damage from my spores, which is great, which means he's going to have some fickle gills soon as well. And we're just going to be one group of moldy friends. And that's all right. Do you know what? We may as well... We may as well just take the risk and head down to Bethesda Suter and see what we can do about it because at the moment naught else is being achieved so you know this could be the end of the road for us because um we can't do we can do little else at the moment so let's get pissed up uh, on bear on, on cider and bear jerky that was a leech boys if you could take on all these goat boys you you we're gonna run away from you a bit and then shoot the crap out of you they hate us the reputation with the villagers of asar is increased our ability to shoot lasers at people has definitely uh shot through the roof hasn't it so Sorry, goat folk. Go run, run away. Ooh. One of our friends died. One of our friends died. That didn't really work out. He wasn't as legendary as we had hoped. 
he was legendarily dead. Get away, piggy. Let's get up here. Feel safe. Move on. We will not mourn you. We will remember you. Ah, that's it. That is it. We need to offload every bit of um, gear we have now. To our friend. Because we, we cannot carry anything. So, give items. We are 100 overweight. Oh, those. Those weigh a lot. We'll give, get rid of those. Oh, we're already... We've already shifted a load of weight. So, uh... Let's just get rid of a few more things. We may as well just give him all of the stuff we can't wear. We could probably go and drop those in the, um... In the well at the, um... I can't remember what it's called now. The Six Day Still. Trade in all these books. There's a few things we could sack off quite easily and not have any real consequences for it. But ain't nothing else happening here. And I'm sure, I'm sure someone's going to point out the mistakes that I've made along the way. But what, what can I do? This is, this is the mistakes that we made. Um, and one of the mistakes that we just made was not actually okaying everything that we did there. So let's get rid of our HE missiles again. Polymorphic polygel. Metamorphic polygel. Okay, take all of those, please. We didn't get to use any of those cool things that we picked up. But there you go. Here we are at Bethesda Sousa. Bear jerky, boar jerky, beetle jerky. It's meat feast deluxe. And I can see the stairwell up there. So we're going to make a, a beeline for it. And see if we can get something done down here before our ine inevitable death. We're, we're essentially charging headlong into our, our doom. Okay, let's let's hope that our confusion doesn't last long. Okay, that's all right. Things are going all right so far. I mean, they could be better, but. Please don't throw your rocks at me, sir. We're failing to penetrate his armor. Uh, there's a deep pool of salty water. I don't know what that noise was. There you go. He's dead. I'm worrying. Oh, Jesus, what is it? An energy beam? Get away from that. Don't need that in my life. What is he? A Kragmensch Brainer? We disarmed him. I don't know really what that entailed. Have a look at what our artifacts are. We might, you know, we might stumble across a hypertractor. My goodness, what is that? A rifled prism that refracts and refocuses light to tunnel things toward its wielder. Sophists call it a hair ray. Cool. We can just drag things towards us. I like it. So, what's this? A floating glow sphere. Good. Good. Let's equip that. There we go. Now we now we can see where we're going at all times. No worries. Now was that saying that he remains stunned or the remains of him were stunned? Either way. Either way. Interesting. Go away, Brainer. Cragmench Boulderer, if that's even your real name, sir. Never talk to me or my son ever again. What are you? A drowsing urchin. Let's stay away from that then. Let's leave him to his drowsing. Um, I'm going to run away from Mr. Machine Pistols just for a second. We're missing. We're hitting, we're not penetrating.
Uh, pop that one in, pop that one in. Uh, let, let's let the Warden's Esther take him down. Who was shooting at me? You. I don't know what you were playing out there, mate. That was a terrible, terrible idea. Let's look at this weird artifact. A chain gun. A chain gun. Look, Wardens, I'm going to trust you with something now. Um, it is really against my better judgment. I've got a feeling that your AI is not up to scratch in this matter. Oh, I can't really give you... Yeah, we'll just give you the gun. You don't have the ammo. That's fine. No problem. Problem solved. Let's give him all of these as well. We might need to keep hold of our scoped carbine just in case. But there you go. There's some, there's some weapons for you. Guard them with your life. Get out of it, sir. Who's shooting at me now? Is there another... Are you friendly? Are you friendly? Are you friendly? I don't think so. Cool. Oh, gunslinger. You shouldn't have done that. Uh, some chain pistols. Cool. You. You're, are you hostile or just there? Let's get that. Now you're hostile, right? Now you're hostile. I don't know what to do with this information, mate. Are you hostile? Are you hostile? Okay. He's cloned our friend as well, causing us much problems. You need to die. You need to die, clone. I don't know how else to put it. You, you're very fine. Wardens, I'm really sorry that we have to do this to you. But there you go. It is as it is. This is not how I really... It's genuinely not how I thought this episode was going to go. Just killing ourselves... Repeatedly. Okay. Good, good. I'm glad we don't have to do that again. He says before the cloning returns. Good. Do we have any more artifacts that we should examine? Do you know what? I'm, I'm, do you know what? I kind of feel like it would be a blessing <laughs> to not survive at this point because, goddamn, I've no idea how else this this run could possibly go. He's hated by succulents. He's disliked by insects. If we had killed... If we personally killed the... Um, what's he called? The dragonfly. Jotun might have been our friend. I think we have to just go in on this. Like, I don't really know what else to do at this point. So... Let's have a look at what our pistols are like. Like, I, I don't think survival is on the cards, but I'm, I'm going to give it a, a, a bloody good go. Run. Did you hit me? You hit me. Okay. Um, did you lop anything off? Because that would have been really helpful, actually. He didn't. So let's smash a... Where's my other injectors? Did we lose some injectors? Oh dear. 
Oh dear, oh dear. Um, maybe we left them back at home. Never mind, we don't have any choice now. We're, we're here. It is what it is. And we aren't bleeding. We could eat. Keep running, keep running, boys. Keep running. Oh, get the f hell away from me. We're gonna die now. That's it, we dead, we dead. Oh my goodness, that did not, that did not end well in the slightest. My apologies. We made a decision and we stuck with it. A shame, a, a genuine shame. Like I would have liked for the Gunslinger build to have worked out a little better than that, but it was like evident very early on that it was massively underpowered. Definitely not, definitely not something that could take on the luminous Junt Jotun, he who parts limbs. Even at level 18, we just weren't any match. Um, that's a shame. I don't really know what our next build could possibly be. Um, I'll worry about that overnight before I recall the next episode. I have been asked at Candy Gaming. You have been bloody marvellous. That was the adventures of Havitus the Gunslinger, the mushroomy mess that we became. And hopefully I'll catch you on the next episode. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and all that other good stuff. And we'll see you real soon. Take care now. Bye bye.